Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate the sports the reaction of simply sported beam. Here we have a simply sported beam. The shape of the spores can be different. It could be like this. We can have just simple arrows going upwards. So it's just the same thing. Both are the same thing. So I'm going to use only the top one. Simply sorted beam with load acting in the middle of the beam. So we have 50 kilonewton. And the length of the beam is 5 meter. So as you can see from the diagram, this beam is a symmetrical beam. What is symmetrical beam? Symmetrical beam is if the load acts in the middle, both sides of the beams, the right and the left, has the same distance, which is 2.5 meter and 2.5 meter. So this type of beam or this type of diagram called simply supported symmetrical beam. Okay. So there are two uh, methods to solve the sports reaction to calculate the sport reaction. There are two simple methods. One of them is very simple which is I'm going to do it now and this method is, method is only valid for symmetrical beams. So method one. method one so you can get the answer just only in one line so this is our r1 reaction one this is our reaction two okay so r1 is equal to r2 is equal to okay. this is the formula okay total load divided by Length. Oops. Divided by two. It's just divided by two. It's not length. Total load we have fifty divided by two is equal to twenty-five. Why is two? Because we have two sports reactions. Four reactions are two because going upward two reactions, so that is by 25. So 25 kilonewton on R1 is 25 kilonewton on R2 is also 25 kilonewton. So it means 50 kilonewton acting downward in the middle of the beam and 25 from right side and 25 from the left side is acting upward to support this 50 kN which is heading downward so this is like this is the first method first method method so the second method which is recommended i would say and you can use this method for all kind of beams so i'll just say m2 method 2 so how you going to calculate the reactions so first you need to do what you need to do calculate the total load Total load is 50 kN as you can see. Okay. So now R2 times by 5, which is length, is equal to total load we have 50 kN. Okay. So you have R2 is equal to 50. times by 2.5 here you can also write 2.5 it's just the same thing and also r2 times by 5 okay i'll just repeat the line again so what you need to do 50 times 2 by 2 is 2.5 125 kilonewton equals to r2 times by 5 
okay now reaction at r2 first you need to calculate reaction at r2 okay so 125 divided by 5 is equal to 25 kilo newton r2 we have 25 kilo newton now we need to calculate the reaction at spot r1 okay so how you gonna calculate that one it's just simple r1 is equal to total load minus r2 so as we know total load is 50 r2 is 25 so the answer would be 25 kN and r1 is r1 is equal to 25 so the r2 has 25 kN and R1 has 25 kN as well. So this is a simply supported beam. This is how you can calculate the reactions. Yes. And uh, that's it for today. That's uh, all for today. Uh, thank you for watching uh, my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.